13's Lisa Meadows is live in Sacramento getting answers tonight. Lisa? If you are jumping to the river now, you're definitely going to notice a difference when it comes to water temperature and also flow now compared to the beginning of the summer. The question is, how much? The water is beautiful. It's it's not freezing cold, and it's really nice to be in, and it feels fantastic. Mother Nature is bringing the heat again to Northern California, but this time when you head out to the waterways, you may notice a difference. There's two differences between what we dealt with in spring and now, and that's water temperature and the cubic feet per second. Less water flowing through the rivers means a lower water level. So we're way down on cubic feet per second. We're somewhere in the two, 300 range of what you're looking at right down below here. And in the winter time, it was into the thousands and many different thousands, so multiple thousands. Down by the American River, you can see where the water level has changed, which also means a change in water temperature. It's a little warmer than it uh, was a couple months ago. Noticeably warmer at the lower river levels. We went from water temperature of around 40 degrees to right now, I just checked it a couple hours ago, and it's somewhere in the area of 59 to 60 degrees. But just because it's warmer and flowing slower doesn't mean it's completely safe. There's different parts of the river where you can kind of swim and be in it. In, in other parts, you need to pay attention because it kind of takes your feet away. Cal Fire says even with lower water levels, you still have to watch out for many swift places. Uh, all of the bodies that I've pulled out of the river have all been without life vests. And everyone I talked to out on the rivers today said pretty much the same thing. They noticed those warmer temperatures, so that's definitely helping, but they're still noticing that swift water current, so still have to be safe out there. Yeah, you absolutely have to because it just takes one second and you're downriver faster than fast. All right. Lisa Meadows, thanks.